Hello, everyone. My name is Wasim. I'm one of the co-founders and CTO at Writer. Today, I'm going to just tell you a quick story about actually what we're building at Writer, what we're doing. But before we dive in, I would love just to give you a quick uh, history of Writer. So Writers, we started the company in 2020. We love to say the story of Writer is the story of the transformer. We started building those decoder encoder model in the early days. And we start, we keep building those models and we build a lot of them. Today, we have a family of models. I believe around 16, we published. We have another 20 coming in the way. And we keep building those models. And you're gonna see from this list, those models come in two categories. General model like Palmera X, Palmera 3, 4. If you have a Palmera 5 coming soon. And we have a lot of what's called domain specific model, creative, financial services, Palmera Medical. Now, early 2024, basically last year almost, we start seeing this trend with all the LLM basically get very high accuracy in general with any published mark. We see the accuracy moving and just growing. And I believe everyone noticing this accuracy. Today, average accuracy for a good general models between 80, maybe, close to 90. So that basically make a, bring a question inside the company saying, is it worth it for us to start building and keep building domain-specific models if the accuracy today with general model achieving around 90% and we have domain-specific model? Should we just keep building general models, fine tune it, maybe go direction with what you call reasoning or thinking models, and that will be more than enough, actually. And we don't need those financial or what you call domain specific model. Now, to answer these questions, we need data. So, whatever we're going to present next actually could be applicable to financial services domain specific model, sorry, to medical specific model, customer support domain specific model, and all different domain specific models. Today, I'm going to talk specifically about the financial, uh, what's called, the financial benchmark for domain-specific model. Uh, we have something similar for medical, but we believe we are, but we start seeing similar result. Now, let me dive in. Just to remind you, we're trying to answer these questions. General model, domain-specific model, should we keep building them? Where are we actually going from here? We start actually saying, great, we don't know the answer, Let's actually do the evaluation. Let's create the data. And we created something called fail safe. The idea behind it, let's create a real world scenario to evaluate those models and let's see actually if those new models can really give you the accuracy that we promise or the accuracy that we see today from the benchmarking on domain specific. We created two types of categories in this evaluation, something called Query failure, in query failure, basically, we introduce three type of subcategories, something called misspelling query. You know, when you go ask the LLM questions, but you do some spelling error, segment error, you do some comment, comment typo issues, we introduce that to the eval set. We introduce something in, in like in, in, what called incomplete queries. You're missing some keyword, some stuff not clear, we introduce what's called out of domain queries. If you are not expert in the field or you decide to copy paste some general answer, try to answer about something very specific. And also we introduce the second category is what we call the context failure. And the context failure basically, and this gets very interesting, we introduce three subcategories. What's called basically missing context. We basically ask the LLM question about context not exist in that the request itself in the prompt. We introduce what you call OCR error. Today, when we do any kind of OCR or convert physical do document to text, we introduce a lot of errors, like you know, character uh, issues, distance between them, the word between, when you do the OCR, could be merged together. So we introduce that type of errors. And also we did what's called unrelevant con context. Let's say, you want to ask question about a specific document, and you end up basically uploading completely wrong document. 
Does the LLM going to still answer? Is the LLM just actually figure out you have a completely irrelevant context? Now, when you put all this data together, in domain sp in financial specific, financial service specific, you need some kind of a diversity. This is a quick screenshot, just tell you what amount of data, how much token. Something worth mentioning, the white paper, the data, the evaluation set, the leaderboard, all actually open source today, available in GitHub and Hagenface. So anyone, please check it out. And we introduce very simple, let's call it evaluation met key metrics. Basically, we need to look to two things. Did the model give the correct answer? Can the model actually give good follow to the grounding or context grounding or basically what you call it here, the context? This is quick or high level way of how we do the calculation. So to evaluate, we selected a group of models. Today we can see a lot of chat models and also thinking models. This is basically the two lists we have here. I'm sure you are familiar with this list. And then we run the evaluation and we start seeing very interesting results. I'm going to dive in directly to the result. And basically, we start getting something fancy. With all this color, let me switch to the more, what basically see. What started getting very interesting, we're seeing really good behavior in all thinking models Actually, they don't refuse to answer. This sounds good most of the time, but in reality, when you give something that's LLMs wrong context, when you give them wrong data, when you have a completely different grounding, those models actually fail, fail to follow this part, and they still give you an answer. And that basically gets you way higher hallucination. If you start focusing on the answer itself, can the model give me answer or not, you can see basically almost every model from the domain specific to general model, they give you some kind of answer, all of them are close to each other. Actually, reasoning or thinking model, they get you even higher score a little bit from there. But when you get to the grounding and concept grounding, this is when stuff gets more interesting. You can see specifically in tasks like text generation or question answering, it's just not performing well. Now, all this chart look great. What I prefer is the numbers. This is the same data we use to generate the chart. We can go through this really quick. And if you look at this number here, especially, for example, like the O1 or O3 or Balmera fan, you can start noticing the stuff those models doing amazingly. And basically, when you ask, was it misspelled? When you got stuff and complete out of uh, domain, the numbers look amazing. The model can take a query with misspelling, wrong grammars, or even out of domain and still can give you the answer. But when you start going to grounding, this is when stuff gets very interesting. I'm going to hold this slide for a second here. If you, did you notice something different? Yep, and also, those bigger, more thinking give you the worst result. You're getting almost 50% to 60% uh, worse in the grounding, meaning the model is just not following. You're attaching context, you ask the questions, and the answers exist outside the context completely. Same thing coming to stuff around it, analytic context. So you can look at the data, and let's see, smaller model actually performing better than all this model overthinking at that side. And this is basically, it'll get us about, is this thinking or just a chain of thought? You know, this could be a lot of argument. At least from the data we have, in domain specific task, those model not thinking at that stage. Meaning, hallucination is really high, causing a lot of, a lot of issues especially in this, in this result, uh, benchmark we run here in fin uh, financial use cases. Also, we can see there's a huge gap between what you call robustness and the hallucination and getting the answer correct. So definitely we still have a lot work to do to build those models and better performance. But also that get me to, you know, to the main idea. If you go back really quick here, 
even with the best model between all the slides, we're still not getting between robustness and contrast grounding more than 81%. Sounds a great number. If you think in reality, you say in every 100 requests, 20 of them are just completely wrong. So that basically what we start seeing, believe, at least today, with the technology we have, with the current model we have, until we have something completely different, we're seeing you need full stack. You need the rack system, you need the grounding, you need everything from guardrails and the build around the system itself to actually have something reliable utilized today. In the same time, I would love to go back and answer the first questions. And our first question here, do you still need to build the models? At least today, from the data we have, from running those benchmarks, the answer is simply yes. We still need to build and continue domain-specific model, at least with the today implementation. Even accuracy is keeping growing, but the grounding, the context, following all the context correctly, it's still way, way, way behind from everything we see today in the market. Thank you so much, guys.